everyone, Melissa here. Welcome to your Melissa Moment. Uh, we are in the car right now. It is actually our 10th wedding anniversary today. Uh, Matthew's driving, there he is. Hi everybody. So uh, we were trying to figure out, you know, what do we do? I think we kind of actually both forgot it was our 10th anniversary. And it was kind of like, oh crap, this is our 10th anniversary. That's kind of, you know, one of the bigger ones. People usually really celebrate and do something. But like, what do we do? I mean, we just spent a whole lot of money on house renovations. You know, we still don't really want to travel yet. So we kind of decided that, you know, a good thing to do might be get matching tattoos. So that's actually where we're headed. We're headed to the tattoo parlor right now. Um, we're getting matching tattoos. I'm actually getting uh, my back tattoo uh, touched up as well because I originally got that on our honeymoon 10 years ago and uh, the colors kind of faded and stuff. So we're gonna get that touched up a little bit uh, and I'm hoping they're gonna let us do some filming in there so we can take you guys along for the whole process. Um, but I'm not sure what their policies are. So worst case scenario, hopefully we can just at least get a few pictures of what's going on and do a little video and uh, yeah, take you on, on our journey with us one way or another. But anyway, um, we're gonna probably stop this video here. We'll do another quick video when we get to the tattoo shop and then talk to them and hopefully we can film the whole way through. So uh, fingers crossed. Okay guys, so we're here in the tattoo parlor. Matthew is going first. So uh, let's turn this. He's getting set up in his chair here. So show him where you're getting your tattoo. Right there. So just above his other tattoo, he's going to be putting that. So we're very quiet in here to like no one here yet. So nice and quiet. Uh, probably going to be here. Well, we're scheduled to be here for about three and a half hours. Um, just because my back tattoo is fairly big. So that's going to take a while for her to do. But the awesome artworks here that they've done, like gorgeous work. So we'll probably take turns filming. I'll film Matthew for a bit. And then when it's my turn, he'll be doing some filming on me. Uh, we have an amazing tattoo artist, Colleen, who's going to be doing our work today. Um, so you'll probably see her on film too. Uh, this is very exciting. It's been 10 years since I had a tattoo. So I'm excited to get another one done today. <laughs> Matthew, so you've got your tattoo. It looks amazing. Yes. How are you feeling? Good. All right. I'm good. Yeah. She's very uh, informative and it's quick and easy and yeah, I'm happy with it. It looks really good. Yeah. Now you're going to get worked on for hours. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I'm going to read a nice book and it'll be great. Perfect. Okay. Now Melissa is preparing for the first of 14 tattoos today. <laughs> The, uh, estimated turnaround <laughs> time. Today, yeah. <laughs> We're all day. <laughs> we better send Matthew up for some gems. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. We'll come back when she's all linked up. <laughs> so it's all done. I'm very happy with it. I think it looks great. I love it. Now we're getting ready. We're going to touch up my back tattoo. So turn around. Let's see the back tattoo, the before. Oh, sure. So there's the before. Let's take a picture here, too. All right. So this is the before. And we're going to get some color in there. And uh, make it look fresh again. Well, how, did it hurt? Uh, I mean, yeah, it didn't tickle, but it wasn't bad. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll enjoy your delightful booster juice, and we'll come back. Okay.
Okay, Melissa, we're fairly deep into it. How are you doing now? So far, so good. Can't complain. This one is easy. I feel like going to sleep. <laughs> this might be the shortest update ever in the <laughs> know, history right? of your... Usually I talk about a minute. Okay, so session one complete. Session one complete. We're coming back to finish it up. We'll have but a look here. Nice. It's gonna need a little more time to finish up. All right. So, what do you think? All good. Can't wait to come back. All right. Can't wait to. Okay, guys. I am back home. Oh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> um. So you guys saw the tattoos. Yay. Um. We got our. Uh, ring tattoos done and complete. My back tattoo is in progress. Um, so basically she just ran out of time. Um, she didn't want to rush herself. Um, she wanted to make sure that she took her time and did it right. And she did have another client coming in. So she asked if, uh, I could come back and finish it in three weeks. So in three weeks, I'm going to go back after it's healed up. She's going to go in and finish off the green color and any other little details that she needs to do. She's also going to do a touch up on my rings because the placement, uh, on my wrist, she said, sometimes it needs a bit of a touch up just because of where it's placed. So she's going to do that at the same time and get it all done. So yay. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are going to ask about the pain. Um, it's, I'm not going to lie. It didn't tickle. <laughs> there was pain. Yes, it's painful. Absolutely. Um, some things more painful than others. I find personally the color for whatever reason, way more painful. Like when she went in with the red on the roses, whoo, <laughs> It's just, yeah, the, the nice thing about it is it doesn't last long. Like when she stops with the tattoo gun, like the pain goes away. It, it's not still there. It's it's there while she's doing it. And as soon as she stops, it's gone. Um, with that said, my back was a large piece. So it's uncomfortable right now. Like it kind of feels like I guess a sunburn, you know, we get a sunburn. It's just, it's kind of like, kind of uncomfortable. Like if someone touches it, it's like, Ooh, it just kind of stings a little. That's what it feels like. My wrist, not so much, uh, a little bit, but not so much. The back one though, it's like, I know it's there. I'm like, Oh, I can feel that something happened there. Um, so that's fine. We have aftercare now. So I don't know if we showed you, hang on guys. So here's my wrist. So you can kind of see there's a film over it. It's kind of this film to help protect it. You can see it's a little red still. Obviously, it literally was just done today. So we got to leave this film on for 24 hours and then take it off, clean it with warm water, unscented soap, let it air dry. And then she gave me more of this film that we cover again and we keep it on up to six days. So basically what this film does is it just helps to protect it, number one, from anything getting in there because obviously there were little needles going in your skin, which creates little openings in your skin, right? Like you can't see that they're there, but they're there. So you don't want anything getting in and causing an infection. So this just helps to keep it clean, kind of like a Band-Aid. It also helps to keep it moisturized just with using your own body oils and keeping those on there because you want your tattoo to stay moisturized. Um, so once all of this comes off, we do have to make sure we're moisturizing our skin with unscented lotion a lot just to keep it nice and soft. And that way it will avoid, you know, any kind of, um, I mean, it's, it might scab over a bit on its own, but you don't want a lot of scabbing or anything like that. So it's just going to help the healing process. So that's kind of our aftercare instructions. Um, really happy with everything so far. Can't wait to get the back piece finished. Um, so yeah, so just wanted to give you kind of an update on that and, uh, why we kind of didn't finish off the video yet because, well, we're heading back and, um, I just like to kind of keep you guys in the loop. So, um, I have a whole bunch of stuff falling over, but that's fine. So I'm exhausted. Like, I mean, honestly, the tattoo sitting there wasn't so bad, 
but my legs and my butt <laughs> like fell asleep. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm stiff, right? Like I got to stand up. Um, that was kind of the worst part to be honest with you. But I mean, like she's great. Like if you just say, hey, I need a break, you know, she'll stop and give you a break or whatever. So, I mean, she's great with that. I'm just the kind of person that I just kind of like to power through, like, let's just do it. Let's just get it done. And then I'll stand up after or whatever. I just like to power through and get it over with. And the sounds of the tattoo gun, it's kind of like white noise. So I was doing great. But then like the last 20 minutes, maybe even 45 minutes, I was like, oh, I'm falling asleep. Like, it's just the sound. It's like, I'm so tired. <laughs> so, you know, but that's fine. Matthew stayed with me all the way through. I, I offered him. I'm like, hey, do you want to go somewhere? He's like, no, no, it's our anniversary. I'm here. I'm sitting with you. I'm like, okay. So that was fine. Um, when we did start everything, it was quite quiet in the shop. We were the only clients. And then by the end of it, it was busy. Like every artist was in there tattooing someone. So it did get really busy. Um, but yeah, so we will just wait until I go back in three weeks. I'm not sure if this video is going to go up and then an update video or what, um, but I kind of just want to let you know just in case we do put this video up that you're like, why is it not done yet? That's why. <laughs> just taking a bit of a break, letting it heal. She ran out of time. Not a big deal. Go back in three weeks. She'll fill it in and then we'll be good to go. Um, so yeah, so thanks for coming on this journey with me. So let me know in the comments. Do you have tattoos? What do you have? Where did you put it? Is there a special reason you got it? Are you wanting a tattoo? Like, tell me everything tattoo. Tell me everything. Ask questions. You guys know I'm an open book. So I want to hear from you. Let me know. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.